Guys, welcome to Florida Trail Rider. Today we're continuing building Maxilicious's bike. Today we're going to be doing the forks, pulling them off the old Specialized, putting them on his bike, and possibly the stem and handlebars. We'll see what we get to. Thanks for watching Florida Trail Rider. The first item of business is to remove the front wheel from my old bike. We might be able to get away with leaving the whole brakes and everything on. That's going to be our best bet, I think. We'll carefully remove the end caps before removing the grips. Make sure to put all the pieces together in one area so you don't lose any. I like to line them up in sequence so when I reassemble them, they're right where I need them. Then they go. Like that, like this, like this and like that, like this and like that. Also, when I'm okay, switching parts from one bike to, to another, I like to leave as much of the parts intact as I can. So I think what we'll do is we'll take a little rubber band and we're just going to throw that on there. What's this charge? Also a little tip is to use rubber bands to secure the parts together. Okay, dropper post. You want a dropper post, don't you? Absolutely. Everybody wants a dropper post. Gotta have a dropper post, man. Okay, we'll take that off. Get there some clippers with the yellow handle. Try to clip that without clipping that wire. Not here we're clipping off the zip ties that hold all the lines in place. Be careful not to clip any of the lines. Obviously. Good. Now, undo that, take the seat out, and the whole thing will pop out. This DM dropper post is primitive to today's standards, but really easy to install. Now set that whole assembly aside somewhere safe. Now, loosen these pinch bolts. When you loosen these, you loosen one at a time. What will happen is if you start pulling this thing apart, without the other one, then one of them is going to expand, it's going to bend it. All right, so I usually do a couple turns here, a couple turns here, until it's loose. This top cap, now hold those up, because gravity might pull those down. So we'll take our top cap off like that, put it to the side, now hold these firm. I'm kind of bang myself in the face. Bars, spacers. Let me put a little lube on there. Spraying a little lubricant on will make it easier to remove the fork. Make sure to lube all the parts before you put it back in, especially where the bearings go. All right, now try to slide that straight. Straight up so those bearings sit right in there. I'm going to slide this straight down so they sit there. Bearings always go first, and then this. the washer, then the lock sit washer. There, and then this. It's going to sit in there. All right, then. Is there something just that just sits there? That sits there. In there. Don't now hold it up on it. 
we're going to see how many spacers we need. We may, hopefully it will be just perfect, but sometimes that doesn't happen. It's just perfect. Is it? Okay, so let me explain to you the premise of this. This goes on here only to bring this up as snug as you need it. This is not to hold the handlebars on. This is just to be able to snug this down so the tension is, there's no play in here. That's it. All right, you can let it go. Okay, so it, it moves good, but there's no play. Tighten it just a tad more. If you tighten it any more than that, it's gonna start binding. You don't want that. That's why these pinch bolts here mm -hmm. are to, uh, to hold the fork on. So definitely tighten the cap first before the bolts. Yeah, yeah. And then you want this, we'll line this up completely later. We just want to get it just about centered. So that's good. And that's pretty free. If there's any binding, you'll need to look over your okay, top cap bolt and loosen it a bit. Again, you're going to tighten one side. And then get it, get it to tension, easy tension. And then the other side. One side, the other side. There's probably torque specs on these, which says right here, five and a half newton meters. I don't even know what that is. I just put it on there a little bit snug, but not too tight. Well, I recognize that as a perfect 5.4 newton meters. <laughs> okay. So there we go, guys. We've got our bottom bracket on, we got our cranks on, we got our forks on, we got our stem and our handlebars on. Next week, we're gonna be doing probably the dropper post, get the wheels on, and this thing should be good to go. Thanks for watching, Florida Trail Rider.